Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. Today we're drinking 90 proof bourbons. Got my pen ready. This is an idea that came to us because of this new bottle right here. This is Evan Williams 1783. And you might be thinking that bottle's been out for a long time, but not this bottle. This is a newly reformulated bottle from Heaven Hill. The old one was 86 proof, this one's 90 proof. It's a new bottle shape. Honestly, the new design, I love the way it looks. I think they've done a great job with this bottle. This bottle's only $20. Perfect. Screw top, handsome new bottle. We like a lot of what this bottle <laughs> brings to the table. We decided to put it up against some 90 proofers. Our Patreon supporters helped us out. We gave them a poll and from that poll of 90 proof bourbons, they selected the following three bourbons to compete here. Number one, the next least expensive competitor is Buffalo Trace. This bottle sells around here for $26. We actually got this one. This is a neck pour. We just opened this, $22. Got that one on sale. Bargain Hunters. Gotta love it. Right. Next one up, Russell's. This one, you know, might play spoiler big time. It's 10 years age. Yeah. Russell's Reserve from Wild Turkey. We really, really like this bottle. There's not a lot more to say about it. This one does sell for $35 here locally. And finally, the most expensive one of the bunch from Brown Foreman, the 90 proofer here, Old Forester 1870, the original batch. This one didn't hold up so well against all the other Whiskey Row series I bottles. Uh, but you never you know, know. You never know. We don't dislike it. It's just $44. It's Did I lot. say that? Did I mention 44 bucks? I know. It's so a we're lot. it is a lot. So we're ranging here from twenty dollars to forty four dollars. Fully blinds. Julie poured them. I mixed them up. We have no idea what we're tasting. Besides knowing that it's these four <laughs> whiskeys, we'll check out the nose, the palate, the finish, the mouthfeel. Do all the things one way, the other way. A B testing. All that nonsense. All that nonsense. And at the end, we will rank these for each of us how we would put these in order from one to four, and we'll see how that seventeen eighty three holds up. I'm excited. I really hope it does well. I do too. And if you've watched any of our blind challenge videos in the past, we are usually all over the place. All over the place. I can't wait to see what a mess this is going to be. <laughs> On to the nose. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. check these out. I get a little oakiness there. There's a little little peanuttiness. Yeah, there's a little nuttiness there. Some vanilla. I get a coconut there. Hmm. That's nice. Yeah. Write that down real quick. <sighs> all right, glass two. Ooh. Man, banana, but like a banana Laffy Taffy. Maybe a little blackberry here. It's very sweet. Yeah, there's a fruitiness there that's a little hard to pin down. But yeah, the Laffy Taffy, the blackberry, it's nice. Glass three. Oh, look, I like this one. It's got a very sweet nose to it. Caramels. It's like straight ahead caramel. Inviting. Mm. All right. Oh, I like that. <laughs> You're writing that down? Yeah. All right. Glass four. Oh, you would think this one wasn't 90 proof. It, it, I was just gonna say it's the most complex of the bunch. Yep. Well-aged oak, brown sugar. Yeah, it's a bit musty. Like it's been sitting in the warehouse for a bit. There's a little cinnamon here, baking spice, gentle though. Yeah. Are you ready to sip these? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Cheers. Right, cheers. Cheers. It's quite peanutty. It's a little spicy too. That one's got a touch of astringency, but boy is that sweet. Mm. That coconut keeps coming. It's a little thin. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a, a warmth in there, but it, there's not a lot that coats. I think that there's a little coating there. It just drifts away quickly. Mm -hmm. It's It gets on your tongue. It sort of gets everywhere, which is nice, and then gone real quick. And I think that that's going to contribute to a short finish here, too. Mm -hmm. I will say, it's like a caramel coconut cream. Ooh, a little vanilla, I like that. oak. The balance here, yeah. it's quite nice. I don't want to say it's nothing special. <laughs> But it's but, it's it's a nice, easy sipper, well yeah. balanced. Yeah, I'm gonna have another sip of this because first whiskey of the day. I'm enjoying it very much. I'm gonna move on to my glass number two. Let's do it. I forgot to write coconut cream. Ooh, cherries! Wow, that was like so much cherry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's all I got. That's all I got was just like cherry candy, like a Jolly Rancher. Think about caramel corn. You love that caramel corn, though. Yeah, I do. I need to eat more caramel car corn to know what you're talking about. Well, let's get some in the house. <laughs> <laughs> that Chicago mix is really we, good. Hey, and we're going to Chicago. We're going to get the real thing pretty soon. Yeah. A lot of oak on that one, too. I don't get a ton of banana on the palate, but 
Man, that nose was all banana custard. I can't wait to, to A-B test these first two because I think the mouthfeel was a little heavier, a little nicer on glass one. That's interesting. Ooh. Disappears quickly. So you can see where we're gonna divide pretty quick. Really? Maybe. You ready for glass three? Let's yeah, do it. You're already on it. The caramely vanilla oak. There's a lot of oak there. That one actually took me by surprise. It's a little bit warmer than I was expecting it to drink. There's a brightness there. There was like a little bit of a... It's well aged. Yeah, musty taste to it. Do you know what this one reminds me of? It, cow tails. Those little candies. Oh yeah. Gray and white, or the gray and white, brown and white candies. Yeah. I don't know why I said gray and white. If they're gray and white, you probably shouldn't eat them, kids. Yeah. <laughs> kids, like hopefully no kids are watching this. <laughs> Just trying to help. Do another sip. This one stumped me a bit. The one in glass three? Sure. Yeah, I'm waiting for some like fruit to show up. If there's fruit, it's something real subtle. This like has an a hint of like a, or Yeah, and I was even like gonna that. say like a kiwi or something like that. Mm. Really, really subtle. It's all caramel. Wow. It's very caramely. That's the preeminent flavor of glass three. Yeah. All right. All right, glass four. Here we go. Gotta save some. You know how I do. I do know how you do. Oh, this smells so good. Ooh, I like that one. This one tastes more complex too. Does that mean we know which one that is? If I had to guess. <laughs> wow. Mm. Oh, and there's a finish. Yeah. I've been waiting for that. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can you kind of feel it wrapping around your tongue a bit, coats the inside of your mouth. I, I want to start writing flavor notes, but I'm still getting them. It's going to take a while. Yeah. Brown bummer. sugar, cinnamon, oak. I shouldn't, yeah. Well, we don't know. I'm always thrown for hey, a loop, so. we could be completely wrong. We yeah. have certainly been before. I'm going to take another sip of that. I, I want to know more. Mm-hmm. Show me, show me what more you show got. Show me more. Brown sugar. Cherry, caramels, vanilla. Cinnamon. There's cinnamon there, you're right. This one is definitely the most complex. Yeah, best mouthfeel, longest lasting finish. Maybe they all just stacked up to this delicious one at the end. Like yeah. all the flavors compiled each other. You know how I love going the other way, so. Let's go the other way. I'm yeah. excited to check this out. Last three? Yeah. Here we go. Ooh, that nose smells so nice on this one now. More like a peanut brittle all of a sudden. Yeah, Very peanut caramel. brittle. Hold on, I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like drinking caramel. Like a dark caramel. Maybe even a little bit molassesy on that one. Mm, maybe. Something, there was a lot of Super darkness in sugar. there. Yeah. Got very dark like brown dark sugar. Like dark brown sugar. It's one note, but that one note is fantastic. Whatever's in here, in my opinion, the word dark is in front of it. Dark brown sugar, <laughs> dark molasses, dark, dark caramel. caramel. I don't know if that, maybe you overcooked your caramel. I don't know what we're doing. I can't imagine a time when I haven't done exactly that. <laughs> All right, number two. It's a banana bomb. This has to be the old forester. I think so too. Yeah. This is definitely a challenge that I'm gonna have to go with complexity versus what I like, because I could sit and drink this one all day long. It just this has a little more of a burn than I was expecting. Yeah, it just has that banana-y, sweet, custardy flavor. There's nothing like super overwhelmingly great about that one. Mm -hmm. Like it's just an enjoyable sip if you're not sitting and thinking about I want to like pick apart my bourbon. Yeah. When we did the, the best of the rest, the Old Forester Whiskey Row best of the rest challenge, the Old Forester 1870 was just caramel corn. That was mm. the only note that I got from it. Yeah. And it was so simple and so basic. If this is the 1870, there's more fruit today. Banana, blackberry. Oh. It just shows how a whiskey can taste completely different. Oh, so you don't think this company. is the old Forester? I think if it is, it's doing more today than it did previously. Yeah, because it was up against its, you know, yeah. brothers and sisters. Yeah, those siblings are ass whippers. <laughs> oh, thousand percent. <laughs> the one thing I remember about the 1870 is that it did drink a little hotter. That's why I think that that probably is the old Forester, but Honestly, they're throwing me for a loop because I kind of expected the Buffalo Trace to come in here. Oh kind my of gosh, start, I forgot. I thought it was going to start throwing elbows in the pit, you know? It's not doing that. Like every challenge that we do, I forgot the Buffalo Trace was in the mix. Don't forget the Buffalo Trace. Here we go to glass one. This one actually, see I love coming, you know. This has got a heavy hill nose. this nose is wonderful now. There's coconut there's here not, and I, I am loving that. Oh no, I, that's peanut, peanuts and peanuts and peanuts. Yeah, it might, it might be, maybe I'm not tasting what you're tasting, but I'm only getting one, Yeah. one ingredient. You're across. just getting peanuts? I'm only getting peanuts oh, and it yeah. doesn't even like ramp up and ramp down. It is just like the entire sip. I'm enjoying this. I think this has the shortest finish of all four of these, but something about the flavor profile here on the palate, this one's performing for me. 
I will say that this one is a little bit interesting because you know how I always like to throw out weird flavor notes? You do. But it almost tastes cold. Huh, huh. That's so, interesting. Because I, I think I agree, but I, I want to hear you say why. On the finish, it's almost like if you do a mouthwash or like a mint or like whatever, where the, the finish just kind of goes, you know, like that coldness comes through. There's a refreshing finish to it. Yeah. It and doesn't so last long, but there's, yeah, you, it's, you're right. It's yeah. minty. It's refreshing. Just mix and match. Mix them up. Here we go. A-B testing. We'll be right back. We'll be back with the, the finale. Mm-hmm. All right. So we did a bunch of A-B testing. I confused myself all over the place on this one. You were chasing your tail. Chasing my tail. I'm like <laughs> a dog. So mine's really simple. Let's do it. I'm going favorite to least favorite or yep. whatever. Right down the line. I've got four, three, one, two. Let's find out what we've been drinking. Glass number one. I had it in third, you had it in fourth. Yep. Let's check this out. I said that this one's, I just said coconut is good. Uh, glass C. <laughs> That's a, how's that for a final oh. tasting note? With the peanutty nose, as we suspected, Evan Williams, mm. 1783. If it wasn't for the coconut, this one would be pretty boring, but something about that, I like coconut and I like the note here and this is a solid whiskey, hits my palate, I like it. It's gonna be perfect in the van. That, you know, flavor bomb just kinda, <laughs> kinda went over for me. The sweet flavor bomb. Okay, sweet flavor bomb for you. That's glass yeah. number two. And the one that fills is like, this was my fourth place. I don't dislike any of these, to be quite honest. This all comes down to personal preference, which is what they all come down to. I'm so, wild guessing on this one and saying it's 100% the old Forester. Wild guess at 100%? Which, you know, for me, putting them third, that's uh, that's pretty good. I a. said that this was simple and less complex. Yes, we've got A, Old Forester 1870. Good guess, Julie. Well done. I knew well, it on the nose. There you have it, a $44 whiskey up against these other ones. Yeah. For me, just finished in last place to a $20, Skip a $22, it. and a $35 whiskey. So Old Forester 1870 Whiskey Row Series. I, so much more. Get yeah, that 1910, like, get that, definitely get that 1920. Yeah, yeah. Come on. When it comes to Whiskey Row, there's a couple we'll keep on the shelf, but this is one, you know, even the 1897 has been surprisingly good. It did really well for us in our Bottled and Bond Challenge. It really stunned us, actually. Yeah. This one, though, when that bottle's gone, it's not it's coming back. Good. Don't like it. All right, so we have the same second and first Yay. place. Let's talk about second place. Glass three for both of us. Yep. For me, this was a caramel bomb. I found it very satisfying. For Julie, you said that this one started from the back and worked its way up for you after a lot of comparison. Winner, yep. So, all right, second place. D. D. We think this is Buffalo Trace, right? I do. Buffalo Trace, got that one right. And that means that unequivocally, the most complex, the most I mean, obviously well-aged, the best mouthfeel, the one with an actual, real, lasting finish, your champion and ours, Russell's Reserve 10-year. Honestly, one of our patrons said it pretty clearly. Don't include Russell's, it's just gonna smoke the field. <laughs> yeah, it did. It did, it did, it did. <laughs> I kinda feel bad about, about it, it cause I'm not upset as about it. As soon as I took a sip, I was like, ah, crap, that one's just better. <laughs> <laughs> but we've put that up against Eagle Rare Tenure in the past, and as soon as we took a sip, we said the same thing. So True. it kind of has demolished all of that competition from $35 and down. Russell's Reserve Tenure, yeah. you know, I think that might be the moral of the story for this video. That's just a solid whiskey available. It's worth the 15 bucks. Yeah, it's available almost everywhere. And for the price, you'd be hard pressed to find a more satisfying, flavorful whiskey. And it won out here today handily. I yeah. don't think that it was even close. Quick recap for me, Russell's, Buffalo Trace, Old Forester, Evan Williams. I mean, for 20 bucks, not upset about it. No. Wouldn't get that for 44 again. Never. We love these. Yeah, Buffalo Trace is always on the shelf. Yeah. Russell's 10, always on the shelf. Takeaways from today's video, Russell's Reserve should be on your shelf. Yep. Buffalo Trace, if you can find it, should probably be on your shelf as well. Easy peasy. And the Evan Williams for $20. In my opinion, a fantastic newcomer. $20 whiskey, aged for six to eight years. We'll take that all day. I highly enjoyed that, and I like that coconut note. That's just nice. And you know what I was just thinking? What's that? 20 bucks, you get it all month long. Right. A burger that you get in town here, 12 to $15. It's going in, you know, 15 minutes. Get it. Julie's down on burgers. All right, well, <laughs> 1783, uh, it can run with the pack. Let us know, have you had this 1783 Evan Williams yet? What do you think of it, this new label? How do you think it compares to the old one? Check us out on Instagram, at The Bourbon Van. Join us on Patreon, and from wherever we are, 
to wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. That tastes like coconuts. Mm -hmm.